Right now, trees are being destroyed in the Dominican Republic near the Haitian border. Virgin forests on protected lands are disappearing. Trees are being smoked into charcoal, which is then smuggled into Haiti, where practically all of the original lush forests have been destroyed. Trees of all varieties are being cut down when they are barely saplings to make charcoal. Many Haitians risk their lives to deliver bags of charcoal, such as these, to locations deep within Haiti. Boats full of charcoal and other supplies travel every day. Drownings are frequent, and without help from concerned international citizens, the fragile forests of the Western Dominican Republic will soon be lost, just like the forests of Haiti. The Dominican Republic is located just a four-hour flight from Chicago, just two hours from Miami, on the island of Hispaniola, which is the second largest island in the Caribbean. The Dominican Republic shares that island with Haiti, and Haiti is an even poorer nation than the Dominican Republic. The concept of El Fuego del Sol is to connect international visitors with local Dominican families in a comfortable environment. Where we combine eco-industry, eco-tourism visitors, and an eco-village, all right here in one location. We're building sun ovens, ovens that cook with only the sun, thus providing fair trade jobs to Dominican workers. We then work with NGOs from the U.S. and the DR to deliver those sun ovens to Dominican and Haitian families with the greatest need. This group from the University of San Francisco traveled with us across the DR and into Haiti, delivering sun ovens along the way. The trip started at El Fuego del Sol with a solar demonstration and banquet of traditional Dominican food. It's foggy in there, but it, it boils, and people come by and say, is it hot? But oh, if yeah. You, if it's you touch hot? it, yeah. Oh, it is hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> touch it, touch it is hot. No. <laughs> but it doesn't take long. That chicken's probably done. It's probably only been in there since about 10 minutes. It's probably done, but I'm done. it's for dinner, so I'm going to leave it until so five or six. Mm -hmm. But I say touch it. No, no, don't. It's like, look how hot it is. Whoa, that's hot. Yeah, don't touch yeah, it. Yeah, it's 300 degrees. Over here we're cooking rice. And uh, it's just about done, but it, you can see that it's boiling. It's It's got that level of steam around the, yeah. around the, the glass. It's a very lightweight and easily transported item. You just close it up and take it with you. Oh, wow. And since it's empty, you can hold it in one hand. You can take it to the beach or take it wherever you want to go. And then you just put it down, open it up, set it up the way you aim it. You open it up and you find your shadow. And my shadow's over here now. So I put my back to the sun and my shadow tip of my head in this case, goes right at the center of the oven, and that means that the oven is getting direct sunlight. So this one needs to be turned a little bit too. And by using my back and my shadow, I'm not taking the risk of looking straight at the sun. This keeps the oven level, and now that I've got it open, you can put your hand near it and just feel how hot it is. It's just radiating heat. Do you still need those? Uh, I'm going to put that in. Oh. <coughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Some, uh, this is a very traditional pot. We usually use uh, a black or a red pot with a glass lid, but uh, if that doesn't happen to be around, you can also use traditional Dominican cookware. It works just fine as well. It takes a little longer to cook in uh, this because it's not as uh, heat absorbing, but uh, it fits as well right in the oven. So cool. And there it is. We're cooking some beef, cooking some chicken, making some traditional Dominican sancocho. <laughs> so you're having a solar cooked meal now on this side of the island. And then after we move the ovens over to the other side of the island and we donate them to Group Aragua, we're, uh, and they've already been paid for by Americans. And uh, after we get them over there on Thursday, they're going to make a sun cooked meal in the oven. For us. Nice. Yeah, you can do cookies, you can do breads. Yeah, just in a regular oven. Yeah, just like a regular oven. I really enjoyed learning about the sun oven. <laughs> I thought that was very, very interesting, and I, I didn't realize that you could, you could make. I didn't realize how, how much it'll benefit the, the community or whoever's using it. So I really enjoyed that. That was my favorite part. <laughs> sun oven was amazing. First time we had sun culture, it was amazing. I was like, are you sure this was cooked from the sun? It was amazing.
We crossed the island to the border with Haiti, where we met with Grupa Haragua and their community volunteers. Estamos experimentando con las estufas. Hemos cocinado carne y arroz. Community center is a place where people actually from the community can have re reunions, can have uh, activities, and it's the focal center also for educational purposes. So we're also hoping uh, to introduce now here the uh, solar often and see how we can promote it here in the region. And this will be one of the focal points here to do that. ¿Qué es eso? Pollo. Pollo. Todo del sol. Del sol. Y muy caliente, ¿sí? Wow, sí. Este llegó a 350. Pero ya a la vez... No, la comida. Pollo. ¿Pollo? Sí. ¿Y eso? Arroz de vegetales. Y muy caliente. And everything was cooked with the sun. Amy, that was cooked with the sun. Is it hot? It's very hot. Almost Ser delicious. Sergio! And check out some of the other activities we do in the community. We recently participated in the first annual Higue Book Fair, where we demonstrated our sun up. Over here in the Metro Republic, you can find a 95% of the days are sunny days. So you can just use the sun up when, when, it, when it's making sun down here. But today we've, we made rice. Over there have vegetable and, and rice. We have meat yeah. with cooking meat. Thank you very much. Oh, qué rico. Ah, con el sol. La pena comprar un, una estufa solar porque realmente se puede uno economizar toda esa energía eléctrica que se paga tan cara en este país. Que uno va a estar con el tiempo de Excelente, gracias. Okay. Sun ovens that were built right here in Igüe with fair trade jobs just like the ones we always create here at Santana Verde and El Fuego del Sol.